Okay, so I'm going to be doing my eyes portion in this video. Here I have some mascaras and I think I know which ones I already want to get rid of. So off the bat, I'm going to get rid of this Dior one because it's tired. Um, I'm also going to get rid of this Benefit They're Real because I honestly, I'm not a big fan of that mascara. It's on and off with me. I feel like it's really difficult to get off of the eyelash. And all of the Benefit There, I've never bought a full size on its own, so we'll just leave it at that. Um, this Pop Beauty, I like changed out the lid or like the um, brush with the brush from this Urban Decay Super Curl because I love the brush on this mascara. I actually really love this mascara, but time to let both of those go. As you know, or as you can see, I have a lot of like tester sizes. Um, I'm gonna keep this Lancome eyelash primer because I have never even opened it. I've never opened the Bad Gal Lash. I have never opened the Tarte one. Oh, I'm dropping things. Um, what else haven't I opened here? I haven't opened this other Bad Gal Lash. <laughs> I haven't opened this Dior one. I haven't opened this Laura Mercier one. I haven't opened this whatever this one is that I got from an Ipsy bag. And then there are these ones. Um, so this is a benefit, they're real. This is one that I usually just have in my bag and bring to work with me. There's a P there, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. Um, just because I bring it around with me. I actually super like this mascara, so I'm going to hold on to that one and then get rid of both of these guys because it's just time. So getting rid of those ones, I'm going to keep these ones. These are the only two that are open right now. So technically got rid of those ones, keeping these ones, and these are just, you know, little extras. So here are my eyeliners, and I swatched all of them in order on my hand. That big one is the Kat Von D one because I feel like it's drying out, and I had to like swipe it a whole bunch of times to get it really black. Um, so yeah, I I already know which ones I'm gonna get rid of and keep. Keeping my new Urban Decay perversion. Um, getting rid of Annabelle. Getting rid of this Stila one. Getting rid of this Revlon one, getting rid of the Kat Von D liquid liner. These are all liquid liners. Um, I actually might keep the Kat Von D one for eyelashes for face charts. Um, and then this, yeah, I don't even know why I still have that. And then for pencil liners, I have a ton here. I'm going to get rid of this Avon one because... It's right there. Um, I feel like it's just not black. I feel like it's like gray and it's very chalky so I don't like it. I'm gonna get rid of this Revlon one. I'm going to hold on to this soft coal one. I think it's by Rimmel. Uh, yeah, Rimmel. I'm gonna hold on to my Urban Decay. Oy. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this Star Looks one because I actually really like that one. I'm gonna hold on to my Maybelline Master Drama and then get rid of this MAC brown pencil. When in the world do I ever wear brown eyeliner? I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna get rid of it. And then I have a silver one, which is really, really neat. So I'm gonna hold on to that, get rid of this white, whatever that is, and then hold on to this Rimmel Scandalize. So I'm gonna keep those ones and chuck all of these guys. Why in the world do I have this many cream and gel liners? I will never know, but off the top of my head here, I know I'm going to keep my Bobbi Brown one. I love this. I also have another one that I got in my gratis from Sephora, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to throw out this Maybelline Eye Studio just because it's almost empty anyway, if I can get it open. I mean, it's seen better days, right? So <laughs> we're going to just get rid of that. Um, This Revlon one... I mean, it wasn't that bad, but I just literally hate the packaging, and I never reach for it, but I used quite a bit of it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I, I really don't like the packaging of it, and same with this one. Like, I hate the packaging, but I actually really love this color. I got this one in purple, and I'm probably going to keep this because I did a purple eye the other day, and I use this as the liner. Like, look how beautiful that is. So I'm going to be keeping this Caitlyn one. I got this in an Ipsy bag. So I'm going to keep that. Um, the Micah Beauty one. I don't know. See, this is my problem. I'm like, well, maybe I will use it. 
I've only used it a couple times. I don't know. I don't know. We might keep it. And then my Smashbox ones. I know I'm going to get rid of the black one. I love the blue one on my lips. The purple one is done. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm going to keep it because I really like putting it on my lips. So those two are going. Bye-bye. See you. For eyeshadow bases, I really don't have too many. I have a MAC Paint Pot and Painterly, a NYX eyeshadow base. This was a depotted Urban Decay Primer Potion and then a Lorac one. This one is pretty much almost done, so I'm going to throw that out and I'm going to get rid of my that eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to keep my MAC Paint Pot as well as the NYX eyeshadow base. And I, I think I've tried this Lorac primer once, but I'm going to keep that just for, you know just because it's cute so throw it out and keep it for brows i found a brow brand that i love and it's anastasia and i have <laughs> i have the brow was that i always use i cracked the top lid and bottom lid it was my own fault it was underneath the chair um so this is ebony and i have two backups of that because i super super love that so i'm gonna keep those three um i have the powder in dark brown which i'm also keeping and then the brow gel and then these are just gross, so I won't even discuss what those are. So I'm going to keep all of that, and just that's going to go in the garbage. For my cream eyeshadows, they're all NYX Jumbo Pencils, and then I have four that are depotted there, as well as a Tarte, what is this called? Emphasize Waterproof Cream, whatever. Um, I'm going to keep all of them. I was really weary about these because I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll get rid of them because I don't use them as often as I'd like, but I feel like if I get rid of them, then I'll regret it, so... All of these are gonna stay for pigments I don't have too many I have a couple from NYX and I really like both those colors a MAC one another MAC one and then a Mike Beauty one I have used all of these recently these are just ones like random ones like this is like a an actual eyeshadow that broke this was just some like loose like fine glitter and then um I don't even know what this is what is this some sort of something I think I'm just gonna chuck that as well as the broken eyeshadow because I know I'm never going to use that. And I'm going to keep that fine glitter just for the heck of it. So those are all the ones that I'm going to keep. Now it's the time for eyeshadows that are not in palettes. So off the bat, I know I'm going to be getting rid of this because it is literally disgusting. Um, this little palette I got with an ipsy bag and I actually like the casing of this like I feel like I would use this eventually because it's just so small and cute so I'm going to keep that and like I'm not going to keep this BH Cosmetics thing clearly going to keep my Naked Basics palette I'm going to throw this because I never use it and this I'm going to get rid of because I never use that and now for these eyeshadows I use this little Sephora one I'm going to keep that as well as these three I have two MAC eyeshadows and then a Sephora trio this Revlon eyeshadow is one of my favorite eyeshadows it's shimmering sienna it's super pretty look at that color makes my blue eyes pop now these three body shop things I'm gonna pass on because those are not for me these L'Oreal oh man I bought these and I thought I would use them but I I think I've used this once, um, maybe that once. Don't know if I've ever used that, but I've had them for a long time, and you know, I just don't use them. So, gotta let go. These guys, I use this red. I do use the NYX red color. Um, this blue one I got in an Ipsy bag, and it's just really not that pigmented. Like, it's just, like, powdery, and I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I might keep that one. It's always good to have a yellow, right? And then the white one. Oh, what's going on? I put the blue finger in there. Um... <laughs> Okay, so the white one is to go, the blue one's to go, and the yellow one is to keep. So I'm going to save all of this stuff, and then this stuff is all going. 